Hello, my name is Vikal Naran and I'm a co convener of the Mobile Learning SIG along with Tom Cochran. Sorry I can't be there with you, um, but I'm sure Tom will do a good job. I initiated this idea and I was um, privileged to be invited uh, to, to be a co convener with them. Um, we formally established the SIG in 2017, but by then we had identified a new emerging theme in mobile learning. Uh, so mobile learning had by 2017 it had moved on from social media and the emergent trend at the time was how people were using their phones uh, different apps and peripheral devices to capture real world sort of immersive 360 environments um, so for the last two years uh, our focus for this special uh, our focus for the SIG has been on mixed mobile reality this is going back and confirming on the trend that we had picked up in 2017. So looking at the Horizon report, mobile learning has been in the spotlight for a long time, uh, probably going five years, but it has had different focus, such as focus on apps, different sorts of learning, social media. And this year's uh, Educo's uh, Horizon report has emphasized or focused on or highlighted uh, mixed mobile reality. Uh, a great example of how mobile learning has evolved uh, in the new affordances it, it brings with it uh, and its implications in uh, for learning and teaching. So our SIG has focused on mixed mobile reality for the last sort of three years. Uh, Tom initially did a special issue with AJET um, in collaboration with Helen Farley and then uh, we did a special issue with the Research and Learning Technologies Channel that was Tom, Fiona and myself. Uh, and then this year we did a, sort of an update to last year's special issue again with the Research and Learning Technologies Channel. Uh, this time with Tom, uh, James Burt from uh, Bond University and myself. Now in 2017 uh, we had 16 articles which was published in the special issue looking at uh, mixed reality sort of AR and VR very early it was the the special issue was very scoping had a sort of a very scoping uh, take looking at where virtual reality and augmented reality were at and how they were used in education in 2018 we saw a different sort of um, uh, article different sort of collection it was still scoping but we had few articles that had actually done things with uh, mixed sort of reality in education context so in all we published eight and this year the update to last year's special issue uh, we have accepted two so far it's very much application of mixed reality in focusing on transferable knowledge so how we can or what we've learned and what others can use if they were creating a mixed reality sort of environment for their students so uh, for this year's special issue on mixed mobile reality with the Research and Learning Technology Journal, uh, we have accepted two papers, as I mentioned before, rejected three, and we will accept two if they come back with the revisions that's required. Of the two we have accepted, one was, uh, the first one was from the Bond, from Bond University, from Veselovsky and uh, James Burt. <coughs> they designed two learning activities using immersive learning platforms uh, in a post-grid construction uh, program. So they collected uh, reflective data from 70 students to answer the research question, does mixed mobile reality uh, enhance student learning? In short, they conclude yes, it does. Uh, it uh, resulted in enhanced learning as it facilitated unique learning experiences, increased engagement and motivation. They do, however, highlight that the that research in this field is limited, so there's need for more research. The other paper that we received was from Esmola and Co. from uh, Oklahoma State University in USA. They had a different take uh, in their research. They were trying to understand if there was any correlation between cognitive load and learning in an immersive uh, environment. And they said uh, they had collected uh, data, quantitative data, from 63 students. And they stated that yes, there is a correlation. Uh, it uh, cognitive uh, load does have an impact on student learning. Though they mentioned, they state that um, if students get used to the environment, uh, they they build the skills and competencies needed to handle the cognitive load which is imposed on them. 
in an, in an immersive environment. So while it's an issue to begin with, over time it becomes a non-issue because students uh, learn the skills to deal with the cognitive load. Uh, they, <coughs> in summary, both the, the articles that we've accepted so far uh, agreed both quantitatively and qualitatively that mixed mobile reality does enhance learning. Uh, while still in, in its infancy, uh, they do see the value. Uh, however, they both uh, state that there is need for further research uh, to see what the implications of mixed mobile reality are on learning and teaching and what are the approaches, approaches, approaches for designing for learning using mixed mobile reality affordances. That's it. Uh, it's a quick, very quick update on the SIG and the mixed uh, this special issue on mixed mobile reality. Thank you for listening.